Okay, we just heard the music of Cooper Boone, accompanied by Jen. Thanks for being on backstage. Our pleasure. Thanks and for And what us. we just heard, Made in America. Yeah. Some folks out there might make the connection to a TV show, right? Yes, John Ratzenberger's TV show, Made in America. I actually wrote that song for him. He's a friend of mine. Now, we've had him on our show, Great Guy, and the show's wonderful. Yep. What does this song and that show really mean to us, Made in America? It's kind of like a little bit of a tribute, right? Absolutely. I think that, you know, when you buy Made in America, especially with all the environmental concerns, on top of just being proud of our products, I think that when you buy local, which is Made in America, you're saving on your carbon imprint, you know, in terms of what you're doing to the environment. And it, it helps support people in this country that are, I think, indeed struggling. As, you know, these big mega superstores are taking over, I think the manufacturers are really starting to kind of fade away. I think that's a sad thing, it's, and, and something needs to be said about it. So I, I uh, wrote that song with Mark Conklin and Anthony Kreisen to make a tribute to that whole problem and hopefully to make a change about, around it. Well, I have to touch on your background. Yeah. You have a degree in clinical psychology. I do. <laughs> <laughs> very impressive, very I do. impressive. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. Now, does your mic kind of represent that a little bit, like your, the think, patients that you've helped? Well, I think that the work that I've done, because I worked a lot with kids and I worked in the inner city in New York City in the Bronx, also in Brooklyn, and I think it gives me insight into uh, populations that a lot of songwriters don't have insight into, and I've been very fortunate and blessed by those stories, and this is just another way for me to kind of do something good with all those stories and put it out there, and hopefully it inspires some people you know, um, I get cards and letters and stuff on MySpace about mm -hmm. how especially big girls for, you know, curvier, larger women. It's kind of a tribute to women who have, you know, struggled with body stuff. And I, and I just want to, you know, write a song that was in honor of them. Well, Jennifer Love Hewitt got some slack from the press because she was in a bathing suit. And they called I her fat. About that. And she's not fat. And she I heard is about that. Well, something's a little screwed up in our culture when, you know, when you're size uh, four and you're considered heavy. I think that's a little bit strange. Yeah, very and strange. And it's not healthy. So that's what the song's about. It's a, I really love singing it, and then mm -hmm. I've had great response from my fans around that song. So. And let's talk about this tour. We're making yes. a difference with this tour. We are. Small change, big planet. Big planet tour, yes. In fact, we're kicking off today in Boston. Actually, officially today, <laughs> in the snowstorm. Uh, and basically... This tour is about, uh, you know, raising awareness around the environment, and we're doing something kind of quirky. We're, uh, uh, tomorrow we're performing at the Thomas Gardner School, if it's open. I hope <laughs> it'll still be open. And it at the Boston be. Children's Museum tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, an acoustic set with some members of my band, but it's being... Uh, uh, the electric is from a bike that the kids ride that gets generated into power that, that supplies the whole amp. So, wow. Yeah, so it's going to be really fun. And then we, and then we kick off the evening, we, ta we cap off the evening, rather, at Bill's Bar tomorrow night with full band uh, for a benefit for Ernie Box Music Drives Us uh, Foundation. So that's going to be a great time. We have five bands. It's mm -hmm. going to be a good time. So. Now, what can the kids out there watching, what can they do to change? their well, <laughs> ways to help the environment. <laughs> Lots of things they can do, but some simple things they can do are, believe it or not, stocking your refrigerator is really a good thing because it takes less energy when there's more food in it to keep it going and okay, to keep I'll it do cool. That. I know, right? Me too. <laughs> With Doritos especially. No. And uh, certainly not using as much water. We were talking about this yeah, and joking about this. this yes. One. Not using as much water <laughs> when you brush your teeth. Shut the water. That's off. right. Yeah. Uh, you know, and certainly recycling and walking. I think that being in such a great city like Boston, it's it's a good thing to go out and move your body and walk around. There's great things to do, and that, of course, helps with saving energy. So, you know, certainly, you know, uh, in, in terms of what inspired me was going to see Al Gore's movie. Mm -hmm. I was by no means a saint around this stuff. And uh, when I saw that movie, I got really inspired by it in terms of, you know, just the little things every day that we can do to make a really big difference collectively. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I'm unplugging appliances in my house and mm -hmm. going around and unplugging my mom's appliances too. <laughs> Sorry, mom. So one thing I have to touch on with yeah. you: country music. Yes. It's not that it went away, but right now it, it it seems to be mainstream. Everybody's talking about country music, and it's taken over the award shows. The Grammy nominations came out. Ton yep. of country musicians out yep. there. The CMA's a big deal now. Yep. You happy about that? I You're love one that. happy man. <laughs> I love it because I think that. You know, there's been kind of a, I don't know, a stereotype of it being hillbilly music. And actually, I kind of like the hillbilly part of it myself, too. But 
I think that country music's really evolved and changed as different, ro uh, different forms of music inspire mm -hmm. and, and change it like rock and pop. And uh, it's a good thing. And it still tells a really good story. You know, I think in a lot of rock lyrics, you, you miss all that great story. In country music, those stories are up front uh, in, in the music that you listen to on the radio. So it's all about the story. And right now we're going to hear another song, Cross Creek. Yes, we are, Cross Creek. And how can your viewers out there get a hold of you? Uh, you all can get a hold of me through my website, www.cooperboone.com. Um, I'm also on MySpace. And uh, this tune, Cross Creek, I actually wrote with Anthony Kreisen, who used to be with the Spin Doctors. Very cool. And Mark Conklin, who's a writer from Nashville. So I hope you all enjoy it. Okay, I'll let you guys do your thing, right. and I'll be watching from the corner. Thank you. Thank you, Thank guys. You.